Right, we want to buckle down to business right now. Of course, here on the Leadership Forum today, we turn our focus on leadership and communication. And as I mentioned earlier, while we were starting the program, if you're just joining us, we introduced to you the president of International, Pres uh, International Toastmasters. This is Balraj Aruna Salam. Also, we have a fellow Toastmasters here in the studio today. We want to talk about the art of communication and why also the president of International uh, Toastmasters is here in the country. We have also with us Rosie Arana. She's a Toastmaster, Toastmasters Territorial Council of East Africa Chair. Also, we do have with us Angela Raria. She's a past a president of Kwanzaa Kenya Toastmasters Club. Also, we do have Jafet Musao, also Parliamentarian Territorial Council of East Africa. Jared Oko, a veteran also of Toastmasters as well. And uh, we want to drill deeper this morning to why the president is here. And for many Kenyans who are waking up this morning and they don't have any sort of idea on what really Toastmasters is all about. I know we've been having also sessions here. Angela has been here, Jared has been here, also Rosie has been here, and Jafet as well. So this is not fairly new to some Kenyans who are waking up this morning, but to some and majority of them, they don't really understand what Toastmasters is. So they think, and I was speaking to one of my, uh, of course, colleague here in the morning, she, she fails to understand Toastmasters and toast. What are they coming to do in the studio today? Uh, is it to make toasts? So <laughs> where is the oven this morning? But that is diametrically different from what, uh, of course, you'll be telling us this morning. So I'd love to welcome you this morning on NTV and just to also welcome the president uh, uh, officially, uh, of course, to many Kenyans. Um, the face and the person who will introduce you to many Kenyans to, to see you and know you. And then you tell Kenyans what Toastmasters is all about, the journey of Toastmasters uh, from, of course, its you know, initial stage up to now, the, the successes, the challenges, and what is the way forward as well? And why also you're here in the country, and of course you're not just in Kenya, but of course also within East Africa as well. So, Karibu Sana. I hope uh, Rosie has just taught you some bit of a uh, smattering of Swahili, Karibu, Asante, or, <laughs> or, or, or Jared. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's just begin with Rosie, uh, just to tell us and introduce, of course, uh, Balraj officially to us and why he's in the country. Good morning. Good morning, Nepal. Thank you very much. Well, as you mentioned, Toastmasters has been existing in Kenya, but has been a well-kept secret because you did say, people ask, do we have toast? And indeed, that was what people used to ask us earlier. But I'm so glad it's changing because there's so much to offer the public and people are beginning to know. And this is because quite recently, after the East African region managed to get 20 clubs, Toastmasters International put together what they call the Territorial Council of East Africa. This sets a platform for us to grow further and further, and it sets the platform for Toastmasters International to invest and pay more attention to our region, which has so much potential. And proof is with us. The president himself mm -hmm. of Toastmasters International is visiting us during our first conference. That is a real big deal, mm -hmm. because previously, it was, very, it was unheard of for the president of Toastmasters International to be going to a country which has a few clubs, four or five, but there is so much potential in East Africa. And I'd like him to tell us a bit more what he's seen about it, mm -hmm. about us really, mm -hmm. that has made him feel that Kenya is worth visiting, Uganda is worth visiting, Rwanda, Tanzania. Right, thank you. Right, let's save uh, the best for the last <laughs> because we want to, to know and uh, set also mm -hmm. the understanding to many Kenyans on what Toastmasters is all about. Yes, you've given us why he, he is here in the country and the conference which is upcoming. But Angela, well, I'd love you to just to break it down for us. Toastmasters, mm -hmm. uh, what is it? If I want to join a Toastmasters club, what is it, the club all about? Is it an exclusive club? Why uh, are you not really known? Or why are you now really gaining traction? Okay, so Dibal, Toastmasters one is not an exclusive club, has never been. It's really a forum where people who want to learn to communicate effectively, and I'm looking at everybody and anybody across all walks of life, wanting the power to communicate and to influence and to engage. And this is possible in Toastmasters because this is not a sort of a classroom learning. Mm -hmm. 
it is doing learning by doing in a friendly non-threatening environment and we have toastmasters clubs all over the city as rosie has alluded to the fact that we have grown very recently and we are now spreading out our tentacles like everything and like every institution the time has come for us to budget and bust out there and become known to kenyans mm -hmm. Yes. So we're going territorial as well uh, within East Africa. Let's hear from Japheth, uh, who also uh, is a parliamentarian territorial council uh, of East Africa. Why parliamentarian? Toastmasters is very particular about rules, protocols, because it's a big organization, deals with many clubs and tons and tons of members. Therefore, rules are important. And my role as parliamentarian is to guide the territorial council chair and other territorial council members on rules and protocol. So you can give us an understanding because for many Kenyans, maybe this will really go way over their heads. Uh, parliament, Toastmasters, uh, why Parliament, the word, how do we connect together? Are you an MP, why territorial, why East Africa? Maybe you can just give us a clarity. Of, uh, what is parliamentarian, uh, a member of parliamentary council all about? Yeah, you, you talk of protocol, yes, but of course, maybe to the understanding of a Toastmasters, but for a layman who's waking up, uh, incidentally, I have uh, the standing order here, which is uh, the National Assembly stand, standing orders, and I know also uh, you have the standing orders uh, also in Toastmasters as well. Maybe you can clarify that for us. Exactly. Like I said, the rules and procedures that guide our mode of doing business as Toastmasters, I am the guardian of that. And the reason why I'm called the parliamentarian is because in Toastmasters, we use the parliamentary procedure, okay. which is guided by Robert Rules of Order. Mm -hmm. And in Robert Rules of Order, there is a very clear guideline on how you can run, especially general meetings, which involve many stakeholders, and how you give chance to every stakeholder to have an opportunity to participate. So you're that guy, the speaker. Order, order, <laughs> order. <laughs> Member of Parliament from uh, Rarieda. Order, order. So to <laughs> speak, yes. <laughs> so to speak, fantastic. But it doesn't really happen uh, in Toastmasters uh, with that uh, particular sort of an arrangement. But we can hear also from Jared. Uh, good morning. You can tell us also uh, the various roles that we do have in Toastmasters. Maybe also you can piggyback on what uh, Jaffet is saying with the parliamentarian or, the, or the, the standing orders as well. You know, every, every place where human beings are, there has to be sets of rules to ensure that things run in order. And as Jaffet has said, uh, Robert's Rule of Order stipulates and enumerates each and every procedure that needs to be followed when running a meeting. Mm -hmm. And a simple meeting runs for about two hours, and there are many roles. There are speakers <coughs> who have got mentors that work with them. Then there are evaluators who will tell us whether they've done well in those speeches or not. There's somebody looking at the grammar when you use words, the tone variation, the body language, all those packaged together, the people who are looking at that. There's somebody checking the grammar, you know, are you using the right yes. tense? So it goes all across. And when you get up to speak, you've got all these evaluators looking at you, including the person looking at time. So there's no way you can go wrong, and all this revolve around the Roberts Rule of Order. Mm -hmm. And because of that, Toastmasters clubs, club meetings, are the only meetings in the world that start on time and end on time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and end on time. So yes. a time is uh, of, of the essence when it comes, of course, to yeah, keeping the rules, uh, the parliamentary, uh, uh, or the standing orders as well. Let's hear from uh, the president himself, Wise, and we really want to thank you, uh, of course, uh, this. Uh, I think this is the first time that you've been to Kenya. Is that so? Yes, okay. the first time to Kenya. Aha. Karibu sana. Right? Thanks. Okay, just tell us, uh, maybe you can give us a history. Now we hear locally how Toastmasters has fared, but the history of Toastmasters, because uh, every club here in the country, of course, we look up to the Toastmasters International, where you set the rules, you set the, the, the standards, you put the, the bar way up, and we have to follow that as well. Kindly tell us the history of, of Toastmasters, who mooted this idea, and why the name Toastmasters? Yes, our founder, Ralph C. Smedley, way back in 1905, uh, set his vision to uh, start a Toastmasters movement. You're right, David, Toastmasters all started with toasting. <laughs> At that time, he was the secretary of the YMCA in Santa Ana, California, 
and when people came, business leaders and all the community leaders when they came to meetings and then finally at the end of the dinner when people were asked to propose a toast, uh, people couldn't do it. The fear of communication, fear of public speaking and all that, then he thought the best is to form a friendly environment to able uh, so that people can learn the art of effective communication and some form of public speaking and uh, that is how the Toastmasters Toast name came into mm -hmm. the Toastmasters mm -hmm. international name. Uh, we are in 153 countries and uh, we are have a network of 16,700 clubs now in over 153 countries with a membership of over 352,000 members and about 6 million people have benefited from this program and coming to uh, the Toastmasters meeting structure it sets itself is a very fun environment. You will learn while having fun. Uh, so parliamentary procedures are important to guide meetings but more importantly parliamentarians role is about guiding meetings and making meetings effective and not have any time wasters included in the agenda so that meetings keep moving and if you become a Toastmaster you will learn the art of mastering a meeting and chairing a meeting, be a participant at the meeting, being a speaker at the meeting. So all those things you will learn in a very uh, fun environment and very positive environment, very supportive environment if you start coming to our clubs. Mm -hmm. And then when you move up in the leadership track, the Robert Rules of Order guides the world and we will uh, teach you everything that it requires to be an effective meeting manager. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. And happy to be here in Kenya and in the last three days or last four days that I've been here and I've visited Uganda and I've spoken last night at the East African Territorial Council uh, starting reception where I met the uh, mem members from the other East African countries like Tanzia, Tanzania, Rwanda, uh, all these places. I see immense potential in this uh, part of the world which we have not seen before. Uh, so I, that is why I'm here to speak at the East African Territorial Council Conference and to see the true potential to take the message to the Toastmasters International. All right. Welcome back. You're watching the Leadership Forum. Today we turn our focus on leadership and communication. And as I mentioned earlier, before we took a short break, we I'm holding court with uh, uh, various, of course, members of uh, Toastmasters Right, we have the Toastmasters Club here in the country, and we do have also the president of Toastmasters International. This is Balraj Arun Aruna Salam, and we do have with us as well Rosie Rana, Toastmasters Territorial Council of East Africa Chair. We do have with us as well Angela Raria, she's a past president of Kwanzaa Kenya Toastmasters Club. Also, we do have with us Jafet Musau, who's a parliamentarian, Territorial Council of East Africa, and Jared Oko, also a veteran. Uh, within the Toast Masters Club, that is Kwanzaa Kenya as well. So before we took a short break, we promised Kenyans this morning, and maybe just to remind you, a tender reminder, you can head over to a Twitter handle, AM Live NTV is a Twitter handle, AM Live NTV is a profile name on Facebook, and 20505 is our SMS portal. So now we want to get down to the brass tacks and truly understand what Toastmasters is all about. Also, our numbers will be up momentarily. If you're a member of any club of Toastmasters, kindly call in. And of course, greet your president, he's here. Maybe you're shocked this morning, you're waking up, you're saying, oh, really? He's in the country? Then this is a handy opportunity to actually call and uh, greet your president, ask questions. If there has been any pressing issues within your club, and you fear your president, the ultimate guy is here. You can actually, yeah, you, you know, tell on them. Yeah, the president is here. And of course, that will be rectified effectively. So the numbers will be up momentarily, but we want to understand what is Toastmasters truly? They've given us a definition and where it really came uh, from, but we want to understand what are the roles within a Toastmasters. Let's begin with you, Angela. When it, you come to maybe a typical a club session, because now today we, we, we do have those experiences here in the studio, but for the interest of time today, we'll actually not do that. But let's get to understand what really happens within the clubs. We had about the roles, we had about, of course, uh, uh, also the manuals. By the way, I'm also a member of Toastmasters. Uh, I have, haven't been to my club for, for so many good years. We're waiting for you. <laughs> we're, we're still waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, I do have my manuals with, the, with me here uh, in the studio. 
I shall show you. Maybe over the years also I've really rusted. I, yeah, I need to come and polish up my public speaking skills as well. So that's why also we're having this station. But you can talk to us about yeah. Toastmasters, the roles as well. When we do, why do we have these manuals? We have the competent leader, if my cameraman may just zoom into this so that they can see a, pra a practical guide to becoming a better leader. This is one of the manuals, uh, Toastmasters International. And I think over the years also uh, it, we have better manuals. This is my old one, over 10 good years. I've been with this, yes. And they, we, you can see uh, the mission of Toastmasters International also. If you may just zoom in so that they can see uh, the mission of the club, the Toastmasters promise is there. Then you have the roles that you have to, uh, to play. You have the table of contents there. Uh, you have the projects, listening and leadership, critical thinking, uh, giving feedback, time management is also critical, planning and impl implementation, organizing and delegating, and I can read on and on, there are many of them, even down to team building. Very important when you want to be a competent leader. Then there is another manual, this is a competent uh, communication manual. If you want to become a competent communicator, this is where you begin. Uh, Toastmasters International, of course, the manual, is, and you can see still you have that particular uh, table of content and also uh, the mission of the club, the Toastmasters promise, and you have the icebreaker. If I may just give a snippet of what the content is all about, the icebreaker is where you give you, your first speech, just to give you a snippet of that. Uh, let me see what I started with. The icebreaker, uh, this was, um, actually this was in 2008. And uh, mine was uh, the icebreaker, life is an orchestra. And I've, I was evaluated by Esso Riaro. Yeah? And we, we have there also how I fared, and he's given also his indication on where I need to, to improve. That was the icebreaker. Then you go to the speech to, or the project to which is organized your speech. Angela will mm -hmm. tell us more of this. Great. So le let me begin by explaining the meeting rules that you mentioned in, and why we have the competent leadership manual. In every Toastmasters club, an opportunity is created for as much participation by members in their journey of growth towards leadership. So Toastmasters is really, and our slogan, and, and our passion and our motto is where leaders are made. A very critical element of leadership is communication. Mm -hmm. So what we then have in every meeting, in every Toastmasters club around the world, is roles that give members the opportunity to practice various aspects of leadership. Mm -hmm. So typically, a Toastmasters meeting will begin with the president conducting the business session. As soon as that is done, we have prepared speeches. So these are members who have signed up and have and, and somebody else might be talking about the competent communication manual yes. and our communication tracks yes. yeah, there are very many of them mm -hmm. in the club we have a grammarian if we are if we are stalling we're extolling the virtues of speaking well then we need to have our language policeman yes. to keep us in check mm -hmm. and that's the role of the grammarian but over and above that this person introduces vocabulary mm -hmm. and encourages us to build our range of words and language mm -hmm. we then move on to the role of a hack master one of the greatest skills any leader can have is the ability to listen and listen deeply and the role of the hack master is really to just test every every member's participation even guests every member's listening so they will ask questions about prepared speeches about anything and everything that has been said during the meeting mm -hmm. to just see how well tuned in are we to what is being said it is true that many times we listen not with a view to understand but to respond or to react mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and and so for us as toastmasters and as effective communicators we totally appreciate that the greatest skill in being a good communicator is your ability to listen we also have the role of a timekeeper and for us we are passionate we're punctilious about keeping time mm -hmm. because anybody who's a good communicator must be able to deliver their message within the allocated time mm -hmm. so if we just Look at uh, many of our political barrazas. Yes. You know, I, th I think we should rope them all into Toastmasters. <laughs> should. So that we learn to give impactful messages within the time allocated. 
and allow people to get on with their lives. Mm -hmm. We also have the role of an R counter. So the arms, the R's, the long poses, the useless, <coughs> redundant, redundant words, the repetitive phrases mm -hmm. that remove the energy, that remove the punch from your delivery. Yes. This is the role of the R counter. And in any Toastmasters club, they will either tap a glass every time there's an infraction where somebody has repeated a word unnecessarily or has used crutch words like R, M, and you know, you know, words that really remove from a speaker's ability to drive home a powerful message. Mm -hmm. So we have those. We also have evaluators. Feedback for us in Toastmasters is how we grow. Mm -hmm. So we have people who will give you feedback and not just in any manner they will give you feedback in a manner that leaves you esteemed in a manner that clearly explains to you as a speaker what have you done well and where is your area of growth and development mm -hmm. okay and then we also have somebody who we call the master evaluator who takes an overall view of how we have conducted our meeting right from when the meeting started did it start on time did we greet our guests did the president conduct his session clearly? Have all the people who have spoken, spoken and explained their roles clearly? And have we conducted our business with a standard and quality that you know, is befitting mm -hmm. of any mm -hmm. Toastmasters thank, club? Thank you. Yeah. Let, let's say from Rosie, because also we do have uh, uh, various clubs in the country. Uh, you can run us through the various clubs that do, we do have in the country and where they do meet and yeah, if someone is watching this morning, how can they get in touch? Thank you very much. Indeed, we have a number of clubs. In the past, it was very easy, and we used to come and give you the list of clubs. Now, as we are growing, we have a total of 32 clubs in East Africa, 17 of which are in Kenya. So what I would like to recommend is we anyone interested in the clubs goes to www. Mm -hmm dot toastmasters east africa dot org o r g you will be able to find a club and you will be able to see all the clubs and the contacts for the clubs mm -hmm. so this way you can reach out to the club closest to you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so our first clubs were kwanza kenya here in nairobi followed by smart speak and i think a lot of the audience have heard about those two clubs. Now today we have clubs almost everywhere. We've reached out to the counties. We have a club in Nyeri, we have a club in Nakuru, we are setting up a club in Eldoret. So depending on where you are, you will find a club close to you. Mm -hmm. And the best would be to go to our site to get all the contacts. All right, so mm -hmm. Kwanzaa Kenya Smart Speak, could, could we also, uh, I know there's a Nairobi club as well, uh, yes. Japheth, you can, uh, you can tell us Semato more about. Smasters. Yes, yeah, these are the clubs that I want, maybe we can make mention of them so mm -hmm. that people are aware and their, their locality as well. Kwanzaa Kenya, sure. where do you meet? Uh, Smart Speak, where do you meet, Japheth? Sure. Kwanzaa Kenya meets at <coughs> United Kenya Club, that's on State House Road, right next to St. Paul's Chapel. In the Central Business District, we have downtown Toastmasters, for people that work in the city, would like to pass by a Toastmasters club. Smart Speak meets at Parkland Sports Club. Mm -hmm. And we have clubs in Upper Hill. But as Rosie says, that website will give you all the locations. But in summary, we are all over the city. All over the city. Yes. Right. I'm interested also, you mentioned, uh, let's go back to the parliamentarian, uh, of course, system and, uh, you know, the procedures, the protocol. Right. The Sergeant of Arms. Because uh, that is also a pivotal role that you do have uh, within Toastmasters. Who is the sergeant in terms? And of course, uh, we, we normally see from Parliament, they come in walking with the, the, the mess. Do we have the mess in also Toastmasters? And we've seen incidences where messes are also being stolen by <laughs> some members in Nigeria also. We know that the senators uh, stole the mess and everything was crippled to you. So what are, what are some of these uh, you know, uh, tools that are being used? What are their symbols? When it, we have a sergeant at, at arms within the clubs, what do they do? Thank you very much. Fortunately, we don't have a mess to hide. <laughs> <laughs> at least I can confirm that. But the role of the sergeant at arms is number one, the custodian of the property of the club. Yes. And the other role which the, the officer does is preparing the room every time there's a meeting. Yes. In Toastmasters, we are very particular about the quality of meetings 
-hmm. And that goes to the way the room is arranged, whether every role care taker has the tools that they need. Mm -hmm. Does the president have his gavel, which is the sign of authority in the club? So mm -hmm. every time the president has to have the gavel, do all the role takers have their scripts? Yes. Are all the role takers comfortable? The seating arrangements, does the grammarian has, have the dictionary? All this thing is the role of the surgeon at arms. He also mounts the door. He makes sure that the poster that needs to be on the door and on the walls is there to signify this is a Toastmasters meeting. Mm -hmm. So in general, ensuring that all the tools of trade are there and all the members are comfortable and the property of the club is well taken care of. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's come to you, uh, Jared. Uh, when now it comes to how we've grown regionally, how did that really come about? Who are the ambassadors? Did we have them from these particular various clubs in the country that, yes, we sent them there, or people came for the clubs or the club meetings and they were really, they picked interest in what is really happening and they said, oh, why? Why can't we have this also in our country? So over the years you've grown exponentially. What is the, the, the reason behind this growth? I think the best way to face the next meal is to get hungry. Mm -hmm. And that is what the members of Toastmasters Club International, the local chapters have seen in terms of spreading the benefits that they've had from this to let others know. When I first walked into a Toastmasters Club, that's about 18 years ago, I found people had been there much longer. And the, best, the first question that I asked myself is, that, is there another club? <clears throat> and for 23 years, was only one club. And every th time, like Amoeba, for you to grow, you mm -hmm. get a split. And it was difficult to push people to leave. If mm -hmm. there is something that is very difficult, it is getting people from their comfort zone. So we grew up to 50, so we split. And that's how Smart Speak started in Parklands. And it means that you've given birth to a new baby, so you must get mentors and, and guides to go and help that club grow. Then after that, the club split into uh, other areas. So there was the interests of bathing other clubs. And I remember we had to get the second baby before the, our first baby, Smart Speak, gets uh, to charter other clubs. Mm -hmm. So in the process, we got summer Toastmasters. We pushed a few people away again, yeah. and we helped them to grow, to get more people. And then Smart Speak got Nairobi Toastmaster. And, and we mentored them and got them to grow. So there's been an exponential growth in the last one year. Mm -hmm. So it took us like 22 years to just have one club and then it's staggered all along and within just one year. And, mm -hmm. and, and we really want to thank the international uh, Toastmaster and our president for focusing and coming to just this little nation in Africa called Kenya and host this first conference. I think it's a great honor. And I can say without butting an eyelid mm -hmm. that Kenya has got the best speakers within the continent. There's no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. And it, the biggest secret about good speak, speech delivery is all about this program that we have in place. So it's grown and now it's gone even to corporate clubs which I believe the, the president is going to allude to, or, to, or rather to cover. So the growth has been, and it is still growing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think we can also write on that uh, community clubs, uh, corporate clubs, what are they all about? As uh, also we have, uh, Jared just mentioning some of this, you can give us maybe a broader understanding uh, on why community clubs and why corporate clubs? What, uh, what are the discernible differences within these particular clubs? Yes, worldwide we have uh, two entities of clubs, one in the community where people come together, 20 to 30 people come together and form a club and then uh, invite members from the community to come and just uh, enjoy the program and get the best out of the program. Mm -hmm. We also have in the corporate world, in the public institutions when, and in government institutions and ministries all over the world and in colleges, in Ivy League colleges, we have 400 college clubs. We also have some clubs in the prison to uh, give them and reintegrate them into society. So our clubs uh, spread is all, all over the world in all the institutions. 
and we have out of the 16,700 clubs, more than 50 percent, that's close to 9,000 clubs are in the corporate world. Uh, to some of the names that you know of, you're familiar of is uh, Microsoft, Google, Oracle, Amazon.com and all these names that we, uh, Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola and all these names that we uh, interact with on a daily basis, we have clubs in those companies and we have uh, in, in Kenya, we're just about to enter, we have a club inside the Char Standard Chartered Bank and we are growing everywhere in the world and uh, that is, those are the club to, why, why do a company who need a Toastmasters club, uh, I, to me, I, I don't know of another voluntary organization, a non-profit organization entering the profit world and exist in that world for more than 94 years. Mm -hmm. I have been to a company club which, has which was celebrating its 75th platinum year. So that is our corporate club structure and we have clubs inside the, uh, in the, in the White House uh, periphery premises and we have in the Pentagon and we have everywhere. So this is not this is a life-changing organization. This empowers people on a daily note to sharpen the score and hone the skills of communication and leadership. So there is so much more that we can offer to Kenya and I'm so excited to be here in Kenya and see the corporate world. You're not just a small nation. You have a huge potential out here. In if you, Where I come from is Sri Lanka. We are a small nation and we have uh, 20 million people and then we, in the city of Colombo, the capital city of Colombo, we have about 1 million people living and we have 80 clubs just in that uh, periphery of 15, 20 kilometers. And so you have 6 million people here in Nairobi and I can only see a potential of a few hundred clubs here. <laughs> so it is not about just you having 17 <coughs> clubs and all that. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to give you the message of the want and the need of the hour to fulfill the need of the hour in the art of effective communication and leadership. Leadership which is a huge part of the Toastmasters program starting from home right up to the nation. So we have everything that you can learn from is something that you could apply in your daily life, professional life, personal life, family life. Uh, that is our club structure, that is our um, uh, benefit that we can give the world of the world at large. Uh, Mr. President, maybe you could also clarify for us, uh, because I know you are an entrepreneur and, uh, from Sri Lanka, the founder and the CEO of uh, Jetram Engineering. Uh, for many people who are waking up this morning and they're wondering, is this maybe a full-time uh, you know, job or a club? What does it entail? You know, you, it, people are drawn from various uh, professions as well. And uh, also the meetings for these particular clubs are very different, you know, tailored for the needs of the, of the club. People want to actually have an early morning meeting for the clubs. Some of them also want them to swing maybe up in the evening as well. You can tell us, even the office of a presidency itself, is it um, where, do, how do they come out? Or how do they come up uh, picking the president? Is it rotational globally? Yeah, now it is Sri Lanka. Maybe tomorrow it will be Kenya. Uh, the other day, which was from the U.S. I mean, it goes uh, on and on and on. So it is rotational. Maybe you can give us an understanding about that as well. Everything starts at the club level. So you have clubs in Kenya where you could join and pursue your journey in leadership. And then you never know, you will have a Kenyan president in the coming years. You will have a world champion of public speaking. That is an important program in our midst about uh, becoming the world champion of public speaking. As uh, you already said that you have the best of speakers in the world and in the region. Yes. Uh, you could get a platform uh, stage to speak internationally and you could become the world champion of public speaking and, and your life will change. You will represent the country and yourself and all that in the world and you will get invited everywhere. And what is my role? Am I, I'm an entrepreneur, yes. So why am I doing this? Uh, I also started in a single club in the country as you already have for 36 years here. You have uh, not had the second club for 23 years. Same went to my country. We had one club for 18 years and the second club was formed only in the 19th year. Uh, but here I am in after 14 years as the international president. So this is a free play platform, right? Fair play platform. It's a democratic process. You get elected at every level, starting from the club to area to division to district, and then to the to represent the board as a regional a director, uh, uh, international director from the region, and then you get on to the executive committee, 
and serve as an international officer. Do I get paid? I do not get paid. But what do I get out of this? I cannot withdraw myself for what it has offered me, how it has helped my family, how it has helped my company to just to give you a 30 second snap is that uh, I have not lost a single staff member from my company for the last nine years because we are a family. I turn from being a boss to a friend. I turn the employee structure to a family structure inside my company. So those are all numerous benefits that you can learn, gain out of the Toastmasters leadership journey. And you, where you, where you can just set yourself to ch 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 charter a course of leadership track or in the competition speaking track or in the training track or we have 300 different competencies that you can learn from about from our new program which i'll talk to you a little later thank you thank you very much talking about of course finest speakers we have angela our own here she's won uh, of course international uh, awards when it comes to uh, uh speak public speaking and toastmasters as well you can tell us more about these awards mm -hmm. uh, the videotaped speeches as well that uh, you won i think some years back and uh, how many of them and also i know uh, experientially you uh, in the corporate world but also you took another angle altogether because of interest of uh, you know uh, coaching and toastmasters also was a good launching pad for you you can give us a snippet of that okay. very briefly Right. So I participated in the International Tape Speech Contest in 2009. And it was really just about, I, I was thrust into it by my club president. And that's the thing about Toastmasters. It's not about perfect timing. It's about rising to what you know you have within you. So I did win that contest. But what came with that was recognition both within the institution where I was working and within me, I, a desire to take this outside of the comfort zone of my club. Mm -hmm. So in the process of that, I have taken on very many public speaking engagements within the country yes. and also as an um, MC mm -hmm. for various organizations, various corporate organizations. Yes. In the last three years, I left the corporate world and started my own consultancy. And my, my business is really about bridging the soft skills gap. Mm -hmm. As a manager in, in Stan Big Bank, as, as a manager in a various organizations, especially in the financial services sector, yes. mm -hmm. my concern was always we did get people, we got young people who are smart, mm -hmm. technically smart, but we know that the art of business is very much around yes. nuance, is very much around relationship building. And, and that is where I see as a country the gap is. Mm -hmm. How do we bridge the soft skills gap between what we're getting out of our learning institutions, the, the graduates that are coming out of colleges, and the preparedness for those graduates to carry forward brands, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. brands that are creating and pushing this economy. So that's the space I really play in as a consultant mm -hmm. and as an executive coach. Mm -hmm. So I have worked with students. I've also worked with industry captains in this country. Yes. Yeah. Just to help people learn how to influence, inspire, engage, and get buy-in for the common good. Right. Yeah. Let's say from Jafet as well, uh, different professions all to, together when they come to the club, uh, you know, they shed off, you know, the titles just for the for the beauty of public speaking and harnessing their skills polishing their skills as well from from your end and maybe taking the experience of toastmasters and also coupling that with your working experience in the office how has it been also uh, of a difference how has it worked for you what do you do you see there has been a very good incremental you know improvement in the way you deliver maybe uh, in your profession absolutely the first thing it gives you is confidence the reason why many people lack confidence is because they don't know how to do things. But once you do join a Toastmasters, the first, first thing you're given is a mentor. And this mentor helps you to figure out the communication manual, the leadership manual, helps you through the projects which are really well designed. And as you go through them, you learn communication skills, leadership skills. And therefore, on a personal level, I have seen it help me a lot. Mm -hmm. In leadership, where I work as a banker, Mm -hmm. In the community, it has helped me to do a lot of things, mm -hmm. even within the community, mm -hmm. community-based initiatives. Yes. It really empowers you because you can communicate your mind, you can tap the aspirations of the community, which is a, another big gap that we have mm -hmm. in society. How does the community get what needs to be done to be done if there are no leaders? And Toastmasters is churning out leaders mm -hmm. who can capture these aspirations 
verbalize them, communicate them in a structured manner, and that helps a lot of problems to be solved within the communities and in the workplace. All right. Now you're seated to the international president. You have been a past president of Kwanza, Kwanza Kenya a Club as well. Uh, experientially, as a president, what are some of the things that you've observed that maybe if you were given uh, just one minute with the international president, you would love to relay? And you've been carrying this over the years, praying for this good moment. And now I'm giving you the opportunity to face the president and tell him, Mr. President, moving forward. This is what, how we see we can improve our clubs and we can actually also tweak our manuals and also add in or subtract something. What will you uh, be having up your collective sleeves? As you meet the president, he's next to you. What will you tell him? First is to really appreciate the initiative that his presidency has brought, that we have him here and we can talk to him directly. So I would say to him that we are very happy with the Pathways program. It's really got a lot of learning pathways and we are excited to start with it. And we would really appreciate mm -hmm. a continued attention to this region, like you have done, more engagement with us, and that will really help our clubs to grow and to feel connected to the entire bigger family of Toastmasters. Right, and him just flying down to Kenya, uh, what does it tell about our clubs here uh, in Africa, and especially Kenya itself? Because it's been over the years we've never had uh, you know, the international presidents are coming, just coming to, I don't know if in Africa, uh, I'm not sure, but just come, actually coming to Africa and Kenya for, for, for that matter. So what does this really portend for us as a club? What, what are we telling, you know, other nations, uh, other countries within the region about Toastmasters? It portends a lot of growth for us, and I think what has attracted them mm -hmm. out there is the vibrancy that we've had, the vibrancy. Jared talked about reaching out and sharing this message, which is how we can grow and how we can change the community. So they have rightly seen the potential that is there within mm -hmm. this region and Africa at large. And that's what we should do, reach out to the community, share this message, share this wonderful experience of the Toastmasters learning program. All right. Maybe if you may pick internationally, some of the uh, people who have passed through Toastmasters, you can just give us a, a runners by their names as well so that people will know uh, they are good seasoned uh, public speakers who are out there in the world who have passed through Toastmasters. One of them I know is uh, Les Brown. Yeah, he has been a member of Toastmasters. He's a prolific, uh, you know, life coach. And maybe you can uh, run us by some of them. Uh, Brian Tracy as well, uh, that is... Uh, uh, Jared, you can tell us more, and yeah, also yeah. you yourself also, you're a life coach, an executive with Ken, uh, uh, Ken Blanchard as well. You can yeah. tell us more about that. Yeah, uh, when you're talking, I was just thinking about reasons as to why the, the global president would pick a flight and come and land at Jomo Kenyatta yes. to this country. I think the president went through the list of, mm -hmm. of the speakers that come from Kenya, and he read names like Professor Okotha Kombo, who won the contest. <laughs> You read about Jared Uko, you read about Ewart Salins, yes. you know, all those. And when I said that it's important to realize that Af within Africa, Kenyans are the best English speakers, it is a true fact. Now, Brian Tracy is mentioned, Kevin Leslie Brown, President Barack Obama, Bill Clinton. Every list of names that you pick on are fine speakers that have made it to the top and are very articulate in terms of delivery of, of their speeches. Winston Churchill, you know, the least is endless. Mm -hmm. And locally, we have all of them here, plus our international <laughs> president. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We also have a kids club. They are also part of this. So the growth in terms of being a member of this club is, is a choice in one's hand. And it's derived by the hunger that he or she has to be a good communicator and a good leader in whatever he or she does. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Right. I want just to give you also a spotting chance to just speak to Kenyans very briefly. I know we've uh, covered a lot here. And uh, that will be, we'll actually just save it maybe two or three minutes. Right. So I just want to also give you some ground rules a bit. So I have my time because you said uh, this is very yeah. important. And I know Jafet is here uh, with the standing <laughs> orders as well. So timekeeping is very pivotal when it comes to Toastmasters. You have the lectern there, you have the mic, and Jared, of course, you'll be the first up uh, on the lectern to tell us more about leadership and uh, communication, why it is very important, and how can we juxtapose leadership and communication and Toastmasters? Why would it be of any exceeding uh, 
a benefit to anyone who wants to actually join Toastmasters and improve their communication skills. Very briefly, I'll give you two minutes. Just walk over to the lectern. And your camera will be camera three. You can speak to the nation. You hardly get this chance to do that. It's only reserved for, you know, the upper reaches of government. <laughs> we, were, we all know that everything goes well when there is good leadership. And I've believed in myself that bad leadership is a mental sickness. And those who lead badly will never justify to people why they take that particular role. So leadership is basically defined as the ability to visualize, then mobilize people to follow that vision. And leadership does not go without management, and management is defined as the conversion of human energy or human effort into measurable performance. This is what we do at Toastmaster when people come in. We convert their energies and their efforts into some measurable performance to deliver good speeches, and be good leaders in every role that they take. Now communication is the transfer of information from one person to the other. And if you can paint that picture to a three-year-old, then you can communicate with anybody else across the globe. So when you walk into a club meeting, as a Toastmaster, it's very important to realize that there are lots of things that you can take away with you. If you trade your teaspoon for a bucket, you can take a lot more and get out there and be the best that you want to be. And don't just take it out of the club, move it to your office, you're a line manager. Communicating is not telling, communicating is involving, communicating is listening. There's 72 ways of communicating of which talking is just one. So how do you communicate what you want done by your line managers? And how do you have a follow-up and a follow-through to ensure that what you communicated was clearly taken? You only measure that by knowing exactly what was done. If it was done within your expectation, then you communicated well. It comes, as I've said, with listening. We've got two ears and one mouth, which means we need to listen twice as much as we speak. And that is how we get to learn. So, as a manager, as a leader, as a grocery shop owner, you can communicate, you can listen and get the right thing and get your message across. Right, thank you very much. Uh, how many seconds left? 10 seconds actually left, right? Good timing, thank you very much. Up next we'll have uh, Angela Arrea. Arrea to just tell us uh, more about Toastmasters, also her growth within uh, Toastmasters, how it has been, and uh, the various also roles that we have uh, when it comes to uh, we have the dis distinguished, all the various titles that we do have, distinguished uh, Toastmasters, who is a uh, distinguished Toastmaster, ACB, and the various titles that we do have, you can tell us this morning. So let me first begin by saying that a good leader is only as good as the team that they lead. And this, is, this has been espoused in how we do things at Toastmasters. Because in Toastmasters, our leadership is driven by philosophy of leading from the front by example. In terms of my own growth, I think I can say here without a shadow of a doubt that what Toastmasters has contributed to me in terms of leadership is way more than what I got uh, from attending courses where I was employed. Because here it is about getting people to want to do things and getting joy out of their growth. More importantly, the desire to then impact other people. Back to the various um, tracks and ranks that we have in Toastmasters, we begin with a competent communication track and a competent leadership track that comprises of 10 projects in each of, each of the tracks. You then move on to become what is known as an advanced communicator bronze, and there's an opportunity to, to then pursue concurrently advanced leadership bronze. Mm -hmm. You move on, and then become an advanced communicator silver, and an opportunity again to become an, an advanced leadership silver. When you have done all these things and moved on to your advanced communicator gold, then you become what we know as a distinguished Toastmaster. And we have one in this studio today, Rosie Rana, and we have another three in the region. Right. So what, what, what is the gift Toastmasters has to offer? whether you're in a corporate club, whether you're out there as a Kenyan, is simply this, 
that the opportunity to realize the purpose for which you're on this earth, you will find expression to that op opportunity in a Toastmasters club. It, it is really about leading and giving of oneself and realizing that in giving of oneself, you will receive so much more. A great aspect of leadership is really feedback. And in Toastmasters, that feedback is given through what we call a sandwich method, a method that builds. Many leaders sometimes wonder why they struggle with appraisals at the workplace. Mm -hmm. We welcome you to come to Toastmasters and learn to give feedback in a way that will esteem your team members, at the same time challenging them to reach their full potential. Thank you very much, uh, Angela. We can have you sit. Let us just uh, continue with the conversation uh, briefly because we are left uh, with a with few minutes. But I want also to give this handy opportunity to the president himself to just walk over to the lectern and talk to Kenyans. Uh, remember the mic that I warned you about. You're still tethered, yes, so that you don't trip, your, trip over it. But you, you can tell us what is the way forward for you know, Toastmasters, when it comes to expanding uh, or the, the expanding through regions and growing globally, what are some of the challenges that uh, also the club internationally has faced as, as far as keeping uh, club members and also tweaking the strategy because of globalization, maybe harnessing also uh, the, the, the digi digital world. We know the advent also of internet has also increased, you know, connectivity. You can also let us in on that. Thank you, Debbie. It's a pleasure to be here at the studio to speak to the nation. I am humbled as the Toastmasters International President for Toastmasters International uh, to be here to just uh, be with the Toastmasters from East Africa and speak a few words at the conference and run an education session to enhance the knowledge of leadership and communication in this region. We are more, we are, as Toastmasters International, we are excited about your region because you have immense potential, huge potential out here to develop speakers and leaders who can stand anywhere in the world. Uh, yes, we have developed, a pro we have existed for 94 years and we have come to realize that we need to tweak our program to be the best that can it can be to the millennial world and to the world that we are in with, uh, as Debbie said, with the technology. Uh, driving our uh, future and technology taking uh, control of our lives. Uh, to me, Toastmasters is a life-changing engine, life-changing changing engine. It's a trans transformation vehicle that one can get into. So uh, coming over the years in, 2000, in, uh, in, uh, in 11, 2011, we started developing a program called Pathways, and which is uh, launched in most parts of the world. And you, the East African Toastmasters, will have the opportunity uh, to avail that program on the 15th of May as, as uh, per schedule and hope and pray that it is on schedule. And uh, that program will change the landscape of the world of Toastmasters, both in the corporate and in the community. Uh, this is the most cost-effective program that has been accepted by the corporate world and the community. Uh, this is one of the very uh, platform that you can really conquer all your fears. We are not about public speaking. We are also about public speaking. When you join Toastmasters, you can also learn to speak in public. But it is about, the program is about you and me. It's about our lives and the, all the skills that we need to lead our lives. And our new Pathways program offers you 300 different competencies and skill sets that you will need to lead your life both in the community or the corporate world and if it is online offline and it is a technology driven program you can make a speech at the age of 18 plus and you can weave your speech at the age of 70 and see how you did 60 years ago 50 years ago so that is the kind of cloud space that we have going to operate in and it is all for the same price same uh, facility will be available globally. Uh, my hope, uh, my hope, and my wish is that we will, we want to be in all the 216, 206 countries of the world. We are in 115, three countries now. And as I see here, as I am here in East Africa, 
I see immense potential in the five nations that you have come together as a territorial council. Each of these nations is worthy of having their own district which gives them the opportunity to play in the international domain of Toastmasters leadership and also to become the world champion of public speaking. And more importantly, 35,000 of our speakers get into the competition track in speaking, knowing that one person will win. Uh, so that person could be right here, from, right in your clubs and, or from East Africa. I encourage you to live the spirit of Toastmasters, more importantly, the art of effective communication and speaking so that you can conquer the world of Toastmasters and conquer the world at large. And this is one of the programs that I know that exist in, uh, inside the profit world, being a non-profit organization. So the best that we have is yet to come on the 15th of May, but our current traditional program has worked well for us for the last 94 years, and it will continue. Uh, those people who have that current manuals will could continue their journey until 20th June 2020, when we will phase out the traditional program. But future, from 15th of May, when you join the Toastmasters program, you have access to the New Pathways program, which is a walking encyclopedia for one's life. I don't think you need more than that. If you have a problem with your spouse, we have a program. <laughs> if you have a problem with your boss, we have a program. If you have a problem with your child, we have a program. And we have a program to enhance your leader relationship management, con conflict resolutions, and all the things that the earth needs is embedded into that program. So I ask you to, and, and to all you Kenyan, the nation of Kenya, you just go to www.toastmasters.org. That's www.toastmasters.org. And there is so much of free material available for you to uh, get the benefit from John Don, Don, even if you don't join Toastmasters there is so much of free benefit that is waiting for you uh, on that domain in that platform which you can just take out go through all those and prepare your presentations prepare and charter your course of life to because this is a life-changing organization but when you come and join our clubs I welcome you to the fold and then when you join our clubs you will be able to get access to the merit of the program and then work through the engine work through your life and work through the program that will change your life because I believe Toastmasters is a place where leaders are made people like John Maxwell people like Robin Sharma Marcus Buckingham Stephen Covey and Tony Robbins, all of them have come and spoken at our conferences and you have the opportunity if you come to the international convention to listen to them for free of charge. This is an ocean of knowledge. This is a knowledge bank that we have built to the world. And to me, Pathways program is a gift to the world that we are offering and we have offered in many parts of the world. And I'm excited for East Africa and I'm excited to see a Kenyan, a Tanzanian, or from a person from Rwanda or Uganda come up to the international convention and conquer that stage. I can only dream for a better future in Kenya. Wish you all the best in your journey of life. And more importantly, if you join Toastmasters, wish you all the best in your Toastmasters journey, which will change your life and stand testimony to Toastmasters where leaders are made. Thank you. Thank you, President uh, Balraj. Aruna Salam, who is the president of International uh, Toastmasters, is here in the country as he has mentioned, of course, uh, trying also uh, to tell us more about what Toastmasters is uh, from its growth, uh, from a nascent stage to where it is right now, uh, expanded globally. Still, we have a few minutes left and we want to drill deep and uh, uh, just to get an understanding also from Rosie uh, as far as membership is concerned because maybe so many have listened this morning and they will love to really join how do we start uh from the this subscription that is there and if i want to choose a club how then do i get you know the knowledge the understanding and uh, the guidance on how to pick a club we have various uh, websites for different clubs or how do you go about that briefly great the best way would be to come to a Toastmasters club first. Yes. We really encourage anyone who's interested in joining a club to come and attend a meeting. 
normally the meetings are free, but there could be a nominal charge of maybe two or three hundred mm -hmm. shillings, depending on the club you go to, just to enable us pay for the room venue. When you visit the club, you're able to see how a meeting takes place. You're able to observe and sometimes even participate. Now, both Angela and Jared talked about the running of a meeting, the different roles that take place. The idea behind each of these roles is we learn by doing. Mm. The best part of the meeting is it's really a supportive, a fun environment. Mm -hmm. There's always this fear, there's this dread that public speaking is so frightening and the floor will open up and how do I do it? Mm -hmm. But when you come to a Toastmasters meeting, you will see how we support each other and it becomes easy. You could be called upon to deliver a table topic, which is a one minute session, and you realize people encourage you, applaud you. Once you've been through that, you feel more encouraged. The officials are there then to guide you mm -hmm. on how you can sign up and become a member. We normally have the forms available right away. If you're ready, feel you can do it. Somebody will help you fill it out guide you on the membership fee and incidentally this is one of the most competitively prized learning institution that I know because an annual subscription is less than for most clubs because it varies by the club mm -hmm. but you're looking at about 8,000 shillings give or take which is 8,000 shillings $80 and that's an annual subscription you don't even have to pay it at one go it's paid in two different installments. Mm -hmm. There is sometimes a joining fee of 2,000 shillings. Thereafter, the vi Vice President membership will lodge your forms. Within three weeks, plus or minus, manuals come from Toastmasters International. Mm -hmm. And you are ready to get started. I want to just get back to what President Balraj was talking about. Initially, we used to get the manuals I've just talked about, but now, all the new members, because we are within that 45-day period of the pathway launch, new members are already starting out mm -hmm. on this phenomenal program. Our previous program in Dibal, I don't quite know why you haven't been coming, but I know My you shift. gained. <laughs> <laughs> My shift has been a challenge <laughs> a bit you know because uh, yeah. we normally meet in the evening and that's when i tuck in so that i can wake up early yeah. so uh, from six to eight has been a challenge but that is not an excuse right and I, I, I will i will work i'll work on it <laughs> it really isn't and we'll form I, a club to suit yeah. your time yeah oh yes there is a club to suit yeah. my time but still so early in the morning uh yes yeah. i'm here in the studio as well as a matter of fact we have formed clubs which are early in the morning yes. if that doesn't work for you as you've just said you'll be in the studio we have a lunchtime club which is an aerobitos masters so we'll find a club to suit your time we can do one but at midnight <laughs> <laughs> on the, as a matter of fact <laughs> on in mombasa road yes they are starting a night for the owls like you all uh -huh, like you uh -huh. and angela angela is another owl i'm a morning person <laughs> Please let me tell you a little bit more about the Pathways program because all new members will be starting out on this program which gives you, as President Balraj said, more than 300 competencies. Yes. The traditional program which we all, all of us around this table swear by, they say would give you approximately 68 competencies. Now why is this so good? Why is this so special? Because it's so relevant to skills that you apply in real life, mm -hmm. skills that you'll apply in the workplace. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have a few minutes now to wind up. And uh, this is where you begin with, uh, with the competent communication. And uh, we have the icebreaker. Maybe you can run us through, uh, you know, some of these projects that we have. Very briefly, very briefly, Jafeth, uh, the icebreaker is, pay, is uh, the project one. So the, uh, why the icebreaker when I pick up this particular uh, manual? Now, this is for, the, for a rookie, a person now who's actually uh, getting into Toastmasters before now. You, cl you climb up, you know, the, the various tiers that we do have in Toastmasters. Why the icebreaker? If, if you look at all the projects, they have objectives. Yes. And the objective of the icebreaker is, number one, to enable the speaker to start speaking before an audience. Mm -hmm. Another objective of the icebreaker is to identify <coughs> strengths that the speaker has 
and a third objective is to identify areas of improvement. So those are the three key objectives of the icebreaker. And as you progress, every other speech has its objectives. The second speech, which is organizing your speech, is about teaching you how to have a proper introduction, a body, a conclusion, and the transitions within, so on. So, so every project has its objectives. Mm -hmm. Objective. So yeah, they do. And we have organized your speech. You've mentioned that we have project three. Uh, this is get to the point, right? And uh, we have also uh, project four, how to say it. And they have the, the objectives as well. You have project five, your body speaks, right? This is all about body language. We do have also project uh, six. Vocal variety, the intonation, inflections also on your voice. How do you work on that? We have project seven, research your topic. We have also project eight, get comfortable with visual aids, with where you need to make presentations, PowerPoint and all. Oh, what are some of the aids that will aid your speech? We have project nine, persuade with power. This is where I stopped. Can you believe it? This is where I stopped and then no, I have stop. my 10 then. You I didn't stop. No, you took a pause. You paused. You I took a pause. Yeah. Right. A sabbatical. <laughs> 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 and yeah, finally, project 10. But this the is the entertain, uh, entertaining speaker, and isn't inspire it? Your no. Inspire your audience. Inspire. Yes. Inspire your audience. Inspire your audience. Yes, yeah. inspire the, your audience. This is where you end on on 10. Yes. So, Dipal, I also sorry. would like to add to say, add, to add, add uh, one point here. We have a program called the Youth Leadership Manual, uh, which uh, the children from the age group of 12 to 18 can avail, and the clubs will conduct that program. And we have a gavel club program for uh, students of that age if they want to keep that program going in a, in, inside a school premises. And we also have the most powerful program called Speech Craft Program mm -hmm. uh, to the corporate world and to the community where it is a structured program that could be run for 10 weeks. And you will not believe the magic that will Thank happen you. in 10 weeks. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are actually stuck for time. I'll give you 30 seconds to just give your closing remarks, uh, beginning with Jafet, very briefly, uh, beginning with Jared, and then com coming down to ja ja Jafet and, ja and Angela, I should say. I just wanted to say that within that project, there are three critical speeches, speech two, speech three, and speech four, that actually define where you move and how you go out of the woods and move on. And then speech nine and 10. The secret is to get mentoring and get to the point and deliver them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And uh, Jared has been my mentor as well. I think he's uh, done a fairly good job. Uh, yeah, there's still a lot. There's still a lot that I have to do over the years. We haven't met, but yes, you can see where I need to improve with the ahs and ums and uh, uh, your, Rosie, your closing remarks. Yes, absolutely. For my closing, I want to invite you back and deliver your speech nine and speech ten. Thank you. Because speech nine is persuade your audience. Speech ten is inspire. I promise you, those two have propelled my career because you can't get ahead in business unless you can persuade. You can't move forward as a leader unless you can inspire. So you must come back. We're waiting for you. And it's not just you. I encourage every member listen to, listening to us today to come to the closest Toastmasters Club because that is truly where leaders can be made. Right. And I will mentor free of charge at a small fee. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Welcome to Jaffet. Indeed, Toastmasters is where leaders are made, and this is where we get an opportunity to give back, because life is a wonderful gift that you keep on giving, and the way to give is to contribute to society. And I'd like to welcome you to what is happening in Nairobi this weekend. On Saturday, we're going to have wonderful speakers speaking in the humorous contest, in the table topics contest, and the best of East Africa. You'll be able to start your journey there by seeing a showcase of what excellence in speaking can do for you. So I invite you at Pride Inn, which is on Westlands Road. You can get in at 3,600 shillings and see the best of Toastmasters East Africa and enjoy a dinner and an extended party as well. Thank you. And dance. Yes, let's hear from Angela. We actually began with Angela, Mr. President. 
and here she is, <laughs> and here I am. <laughs> See how you know fluent she is today, and here I am still struggling. Yeah? <laughs> but there is room for improvement. Angela. No, you're not struggling. You're, you're well on your way you there. Good. Good. So Let's continue. Mm -hmm. We are living in a digital world with an array of social, uh, social, uh, social media channels. Nothing will replace the need for human relationships. Those relationships will be built and enhanced through effective communication and through the style of leadership, by example, that you will find in a Toastmasters club. So please come and join us Thank and you. give gift yourself. Gift Thank you. Yourself. Let me give this opportunity to the president just briefly also to just... Just, uh, just before the president. No, no, uh, we start for time. Like, uh, that like director is on my case. Let me okay. just give uh, the result that from the president. Please, president. I'd like to invite every Kenyan, the entire nation, to the world of Toastmasters because it has a lot to offer you. And I only dream that you will conquer the stage one day uh, at the international level and make your country proud because we are waiting to welcome you and to ch listen to your stories so that you can tell your story. Each one of us have a story to tell. I invite all Kenyans to tell your story uh, in the international, at the international convention or anywhere in the international forum. Welcome to Toastmasters. Thank you. Thank you.